Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all doing great today. Drones are great and I'm truly a huge fan. There's simply no easier way to get a bird's eye perspective and they enable anybody to shoot gorgeous pictures and videos. I have a DJI Mavic Pro and it's a lot of fun to fly. But how do other pilots feel about them? Which rules should you adhere when flying a drone? Are the rules the same in every country? How should you travel with a drone? And how is it possible that I see other people flying drones in areas that are considered no-fly zones? This and much more will be discussed in this video. So where to start? Drones became really popular during the last years. Companies like DJI and Parrot created drones that were a lot cheaper than the conventional drones used for big Hollywood productions. People were able to purchase a drone for about one or two thousand euros. Still a lot of money, but you get the picture. Nowadays, drones have become even cheaper. For a couple of hundred euros, you can already purchase one at your local electronics shop, meaning even more people start to use the airspace. The same airspace that's used by uh, wildlife, airplanes, skydivers, helicopters and gliders. Everyone is still getting used to unmanned uh, aerial vehicles and the rules are constantly changing, which leads to a lot of confusion. That brings me to the first point. What do actual pilots think about drones? So I've asked around and uh, the opinions really differ. Some say there's not really a threat since drones fly at low altitudes, while others say that the use of drones should be uh, legislated or even banned entirely. To give you an idea of some typical drone rules, these are the rules that are applicable in the Netherlands. You can only fly during daytime. Your drone should, be, um, should remain in sight. You can never fly higher than 120 meters, which is about 390 feet. You should never fly in no-fly zones. Always give way to other aircrafts. Don't fly above roads, urban areas, and people. And your drone shouldn't weigh more than 25 kilograms. You should respect people's privacy and use common sense. These are the rules for recreational use. If you want to operate your drone commercially, you need to get a drone license. Breaking these rules can lead to a hefty fine of about 7,800 euros and your drone might be seized. The no-fly zones also covering huge areas in the Netherlands. As you can see, there's quite some legislation in place already. People travel to other countries, bring their drone and then face different rules. The fact that drone rules are changed without proper notice leads to even more confusion since you might be breaking rules that came in effect just a couple of days ago. That's also the reason why EASA, the European Aviation Safety Agency, created rules for all European member states. These rules will be fully applicable in a year's time and they will be the same in all European member states. As of June 2020, operators of drones will need to register themselves and their drones. The EASA rules will replace the national regulations. The fact that there will be common rules in Europe is a welcome change and it will be the first region in the world to have a set of common rules. On a side note, it is expected that the drone sector will create hundreds of jobs by 2035, an estimate revenue of 10 billion euros. Crazy. Some benefits of using drones. Imagine a remote island and a sudden need for medicine. The delivery of that medicine will become much less of a hassle when using a drone. Look at Amazon, for example. They've been testing parcel delivery by drone. Flying an AED or automatic external defibrillator will also come in handy. And in case you have a drone, do you know how you should pack it? Batteries, including drone batteries, should never be placed in hold luggage. Batteries can catch fire, and as you all know, fire and airplanes don't really go together well. That is why I bought these fireproof uh, battery bags for my own drone batteries. This is not sponsored, so don't worry. But yeah, I definitely uh, recommend you getting a pair of these uh, for your own safety. The drone itself can be placed in either the hold or carry-on luggage. Even though you do your utmost to keep the drone safe and you abide all uh, rules in your local area, your drone might be confiscated when entering another country because of local drone laws. Some countries have banned the use of drones entirely and trying to bring one anyway will just create a problem. Drones will be taken upon entry and when you leave the country you can get it back. Hopefully. 
Either way, expect to receive some questions about your drone by local security staff. Some have never seen one before. We discussed the rules and although we expect a lot of common sense from people that use them, it, is sometimes, it sometimes leaves a lot to be desired. An airport is always a no-fly zone, even the uncontrolled ones and helipads. However, in December 2018, the airport of London Gatwick was shut down after drones were repeatedly flown over the airport. About 50 flights had to divert and of course a number of flights were cancelled, leading to major problems for people traveling towards and from London Gatwick, one of the biggest airports of the country. In Myanmar, tourists received a jail sentence of two months because they flew their drone over a parliament building. Using a drone in Myanmar is only allowed with a permit. And uh, last year, a drone captured an approaching helicopter at a very close distance. The drone operator wasn't operating the drone too high, but most likely the drone wasn't operated according to the line of sight rules. These are just some examples of incidents with drones. But I think the real problem is created by the select few that have a huge amount of followings on social media platforms. They operate a drone knowingly in areas where they shouldn't, just to create a so-called stunning picture or video, which will do well on social media. These pictures and videos then get seen by thousands of your people who might think it's okay to fly in a drone in downtown Manhattan or in the busy airspace of London. Helicopters fly in these areas at low altitude and in my video about dangerous airports and short runways, you see an approach into London City Airport. I've seen drone shots that were, that were made exactly on the approach path. The same goes for a shot of the canals in Amsterdam or the Eiffel Tower in Paris. If everybody would just adhere the no fly zone regulations, there would be no problem at all. This brings me to my opinion. As a pilot, I think that the airspace will be safer if everybody just follows the same rules. And luckily the rules are becoming easier to understand and the legislation is being improved. Hopefully all drone operators understand that they have to operate their drone in a responsible manner. And for the select few that won't, registration will deal with that. I feel everybody should be allowed to enjoy flying a drone, as long as it's done responsibly. I understand it becomes way less fun for the hobbyists that only fly now and then. And in some countries like Canada, it's only allowed to fly a drone after passing a couple of exams, which also cost effort and money. For example, in order to legally operate a drone in Canada, you need to be able to decode a matter. Okay, some things to consider before flying your drone. Make sure your batteries are charged, check the weather forecast, check the environment for obstacles. Make yourself familiar with local drone laws and get yourself a proper insurance. Take your time and properly check your drone before and after the flight. So which drone are you currently using and how are the drone laws in your country? How do you feel about drone laws and rules in the first place? I am eager to find out. Check out my Instagram for daily posts and stories about my aviation life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Clicking the notification bell will ensure you never miss out any of my videos. I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.